Hi, welcome to our CZ202 project demonstration video. We are group 4 from tutorial SS10. From left to right, are Yi Hang, Xin Yi, Tian Yu, Zheng Yu, and Hao Xuan. Metric number are also listed here. This is a restaurant reservation and point of sale system. Here are the functions of our system. In this video, we are going to test these functions by running through four designed test cases. Also notice that the specific test cases and the corresponding functions are listed in our library port. OK, now let's start our system and enjoy. Now we are going to demonstrate our code. In a wonderful Sunday, Jeff went to his favorite restaurant and wanted to enjoy a meal. Now he starts to create his order. Jeff is one of the VIP members in this restaurant. By entering his order ID, customer ID, he can enjoy his discount. Jeff first wants to sit at table zero, but after availability check, table zero was already been taken. Then Jeff tried to sit at table one. This time he could succeed. Next, Jeff chose Mary to be his waitress. And now he starts ordering. He first chose a bruchita as appetizer, he ordered one bruchita. And next, he ordered one chicken chop for main course. Then, he ordered lemon tea and uh, mushroom soup. Jeff stopped ordering, and he ordered no promotional package. And now let's check his order. We can see his order ID, customer ID, and table ID, staff ID. We, uh, we can also see all the items he have been ordered. A few minutes later, Jeff wants to add 10 puddings into his order. But we can choose his order ID. Then we can do the addition. Let's see his order again. Now, 10 puddings have been ordered into his orders. But then Jeff felt like 10 orders, 10 puddings is too much. So he wanted to remove 5 of them. Let's build the order again. We can see that the number of puddings have been reduced to 5. Now Jeff places order, and let's check the table availability. We can see that table one is the, the availability of table 1 is already set to be false. Thus, no customers can be seen at table 1 again. Now Jeff had enjoyed his meal, and he started to play his order. We can see his invites shown in the screen. After the invites is generated, the list of active order will be empty again. And now we can see that table 1 is now available. Thus, other customers can see it in table 1 now. Now I will just demonstrate the next part. Let's suppose a chef invented a new type of uh, dish named the beef stick, and we wish to add that into the uh, the repository of our restaurant. So first we create the menu item, and then we select create. Let's enter it as beef stick. And then it is of course a main course. And uh, let's input the description. And then the price. And as you may have probably noticed, the description is wrong. Since it's a beef stick, it is not a lamb stick. Then we need to change it. Select create, select update, and then the main course, the description, and change it to beef stick. Exactly. And then we save changes. But now let's say, uh, sadly, the chef found out that the, the, the stick is not invented by himself, so he wished to delete that from the repository of the restaurant. Then we need to remove the item. Select remove, 
and then the main course, and then it is removed. Now we can check that by reviewing the check menu items, and we can see that it's gone from the menu. What's up, guys? I'm the manager of the restaurant. OK, OK. Let me check about the revenue today. So let's go to 10, check the revenue. Today is November 14. And our restaurant always opens at 8 a.m. Our restaurants all always closes at 10 p.m. Okay, let's look about the revenue today. What? Only $14? Oh no, that's not so good. Maybe I need to do something to improve the sales. How about add a promotion for kids? Hmm, nice. So I need to add a promotion. Create a promotion. The name of the promotion is Kid Set. And the description will be best for kids. Yes, we, all, we always do the best. Uh, I think we can add a Coca-Cola and a tomato soup, also a chocolate cake. OK, I think that's enough. So the price will be $15. I think it's a good price. Oh, we can see the promotion has been created. Oh, wait, wait, wait. $15, I think is a little bit expensive. My father tells me small profits come from longer returns. So we need to change the price. We need to update. We choose the second one, which is the kids set. We need to change the price. OK, we can change it to $10. Wow, so nice. So we need to save the updates. Wonderful. OK, so suppose I'm the waiter for the reservation. So firstly, I need, I need to check the reservations now. So I click in 7. And we can see that there are totally two reservations now. So suppose that suddenly, Jerry, she wants to cancel his res her reservation. So we can just key, her, key in her phone number. And that one has been moved. So we check again. And we found that there's just one left. So then, suddenly, Jay said that he wants to make the reservation for about five minutes later and for four people. So we create the reservation. So J is ID 4, so J, and the max number is 4. Then the booking date is today. The time is 4.00. OK, that one has been created. Let me check again. Yeah. J is here now. So let me accelerate the time. So now the time is passed because the we can see that the reservation for him is just 10 p.m. So we exit the page and then we can see again to check the reservation. And we can see that because he is late, his reservation has been canceled. That's all for our code. Thanks a lot.